A helicopter? Really? Oh god, yeah, really! <laughs> Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer! You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So... Dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. All right, welcome back to Alan Wake, everybody. Episode three, Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. <laughs> Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. Oh, FBI? you do, do you? He's anxious to see you. He's Bet he is. Okay. He's anxious I'll to shoot me, I think. Let's make this quick, huh? It's all coming true. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? Uh huh. On the radio you were visiting. Well, of course you did. I'll show you her trailer. Of course you did. Everyone did. She's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, oh. I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, mm. and get this: most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Oh uh, really? Wrong, mister. The plot thickens. Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Wait, what the hell is that? I'm the god-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with us. Is, is that a boat? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, how did that get there? There's an island there owned by a guy called Thomas <laughs> Zane. Different? Some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. Ah. A volcano under oh, the lake hold on. erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. <laughs> but it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, how about that? A, a boat that fell from the sky and almost killed everyone here. Unbelievable. So that's the work of the Dark Presence, right? Lifting it up and throwing it, I guess. You've got quite the limp. Are you sure you want to guide me around? I can probably find it. Bolt the fence? Nope. For some reason, not this time. Can't jump. It gets better. A local oh. girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Really? Sure. A week Jagger's earlier, a too. Spook story. The Scratch and Hag. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. I don't what, think she's crazy. Lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both <laughs> Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Right. If I get the chance, I need to speak to her again, because she seems to be the only one who really knows what's going on here. Maybe I can take a couple of lanterns as well. She seems to have a few. Is, is this the place? What does I say? Rose Marigold. Right, must be. Okay. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just I want my book. To talk to her, pal. Yeah. I don't think that's what she's got in mind, though. There's no way she has the manuscript pages. She's she's possessed, I think. Oh. Oh, there's a thermos inside. Hello. Oh. Welcome to. Oh dear. To, oh dear, Mr. Wade. She's still not right. I'm. I'm so glad you're here. Would you like to come out to the light, please? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. No, no, you go out. Oh dear. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. 
A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh, oh no. Barry. Oh, it's in the coffee. She what? spiked the coffee. Oh, me as well. Why'd you take a sip, man? I've collected so many thermoses. You don't need any more coffee. Well, it was all one big trap and I just fell for it. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. What the hell? Back to work, boy. <laughs> Not the wake-up call you want, really, is it? Where are we now? We still at Rose's place? I felt yeah, we are. Hung over. Only <laughs> anger kept me going. <laughs> what? I can't tell oh, me. reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. So that's what we're meant to call this woman who keeps following me and... I think attacking Alice. Barbara Jagger. Right. But check this out, this must be Rose's bedroom. And she's got a little shrine to me! I'm... slightly disturbed, but that's kinda cool, I guess. I suppose that's the, all the books I've written. Okay, leave the trailer, by all means. Oh god, look at him. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kid. Oh, shit. All oh, I could do there's the thermos. Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Right, let's uh, lift you up, Barry I guess. Out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Oh. <laughs> You're right. Oh. I deserve more money. <laughs> so handsome. Well, you just stay there, I suppose. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? She's still I out of it. Work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Let's just go. Milk and sugar okay, and so milk. what's up next? Oh, hang on. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Okay. Well, there is a little bit of time to waste because I want to read the manuscript page I just found. Which is Randolph calls the police? Oh, come on! Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers... The writer and his smart-ass sidekick looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. What? Just because she was, it was way past her normal bedtime? We didn't, we didn't look that shifty, did we? That's a pretty crappy reason to call the police. Fuck's sake! And uh, it's, it's on the cusp of night again, so I don't have a flashlight or a gun or oh, there's a radio. Was that there before? I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air, let me tell you. Good old Pat Main again. I, I guess he runs that place 24-7, he's always there. Okay. Can we sprint now? Oh, we can, brilliant. Okay, well, there's the car. Ah. Oh, there's Randolph. Um, do I have to get past him, knock him out or something? Oh, fuck. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. I didn't do anything. Nightingale, FBI. Oh. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. <laughs> you move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, you so, Whoa. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Shout out to 
channeling a little bit of max pain here. Very nice. What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! <laughs> he did reach for his gun a little bit too quick, didn't he? Anyway, well. You bury behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. No. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's go. Over here. Right, so no flashlight, no gun. Probably good I don't have a gun, actually. I'll just give him, give him another reason to shoot me. But, uh, yeah, we gotta get away. And Alan, come on, if you ever needed to run, it would be now. Okay, at least I can't see the flashlights anymore, so... And they are still there, though. Oh, man. Okay, come on. I thought, you know, in the previous videos, we've been, we've been training your cardio pretty well, Alan, but obviously you haven't really been keeping up with it. Okay. Escape the police, just like that. Just keep going, just keep going. Oh no! Shit! Ah! No, 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 no! Don't get shot. Ah! Ah! Crap, flares as well. How am I meant to get away from this? Oh, shit! Fucking hell, right. Just catch a breather behind here. Okay, oh, oh my god, they're fucking following me! I can't wait! I'm trying to stay out the lights and everything, but I had to... Here we go. He's puffed out again! I mean, yeah, okay, sure, you were shot, but come on. You can do better than that. This way? Alright. Come on, over there. Okay, just a little bit of a jog before we go for a sprint again. Yep, that works. Yeah, I've got to get used to sort of working out his stamina. What's that over there? Is that another page? I think it might be. It's not exactly the time or the place, but I'm still going to read it. The Dark Presence Sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Right. So it's connected with people who are involved with literature and writing things specifically? That's a very, very obscure demon, monster, ghost, whatever you want to call it. Darkness. And it's getting very foggy, very misty, very blurry. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I know I'm going to get attacked in a minute, aren't I? Fuck. Uh, wow. Okay, um... Thank you, I guess? Hang on, is there a flashlight or a gun in there? No? Shit. Ah. Yeah. A little bit too trigger happy, I think, but whatever, sure. Okay, into the safe haven. Looks like my health is pretty much full, so that's not bad. <sighs> okay. Drop hazard? <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, them with the bloody flare guns. Us using them as they should be used, I suppose. Shit, okay. I don't know if there's any real stealth mechanics in this game, so if I do run into a police officer, I, I don't know how I'm going to sneak past him. Maybe I just have to knock him out. Here. Oh, here we go again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just shook the entire map. If I was using a controller, I'm sure it'd be vibrating right now. Oh, God. I, I, the dark presence is obviously surrounding me. I don't know if it's helping me or not, really. It's dealing with the police. So, thanks for that, really. Come on. Is that this way now? And this another car that's just been thrown. Where I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, nah. not a monster. Nothing here. <laughs> Don't knock the tweed. All right, come on, let's go. Let's escape the police before they all end up dying. I have a feeling the darkness is chasing me rather than the police, and they just seem to be getting caught up in it, you know? A helicopter? Really? 
Oh, God, yeah, really. <gasps> Shit, stay out the light. Stay out the light. Don't get shot, right? Okay. <laughs> Over here. No! Oh, oh right shit! There. There's nowhere to run. The birds? Oh, not, I... oh, not coming for me. Really? The Dark Presence is really helping me out right now. No way. No way. It took out a helicopter? And the birds fly away. Their job is done. Is Barbara Jagger controlling the birds? Is that what's going on? Jesus, man. Am I going to get blamed for all this? Like, for multiple homicides and destroying police property and all that? I certainly hope not, but they're probably going to pin it on me anyway. Just gives Nightingale another excuse to try and shoot me. Right. Uh, okay, it looks like I have to go over there, but let's just check out this as well. Oh, can I use this? Yes, I can! And it's free? Really? Brilliant. Okay. Let's have a look at the wreck, I suppose. Any survivors? Ooh, I'm not seeing any. What's that over there? Oh, is that the petrol station? Yeah, the station I was at in, like, video three? Huh, small world. Sure, okay. Um, anything else up here before I go back down? Ah, there is. A coffee thermos. I'm gonna take one of those. And a radio, of sorts. Not Delilah? No. Oh, god damn. There's another one over there. What are we looking at? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Ah, right. Okay. Is that where we're heading? Sure. <laughs> oh, Scotch. Right, let's just get out of here. I'm sure they're going to be on my tail very soon. I can't linger here, really. Let's go. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Ah, uh, the fuck? What? What's going on with the gate? Shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I All right, get well, without light. we kick this down, or I don't know. There's got to be something else. Oh, up here then. Sure, fine. Is that another coffee thermos? I think it is. Hold on. There we are. Okay. So let's see. Hang on. We got a wire here to a generator. Hello. Right, let's start this up. What's th oh, is that? Is that a light over there? Like a searchlight or something? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Wire's not very good though, is it? I see. I see. Well, that deals with that. Wow. So it, it actually does destroy the gate. Mental. I thought it was just going to leave the gate be and move on to something else. Oh, oh, that was a bad move. That could have really hurt. Radio station, okay. We're not too far away, we just have to get through the forest. I I need a flashlight though, I really do. And a gun. Several. Ah, oh, another one? Is there another searchlight? Uh, fuck. Hang on, it's not a searchlight, but it is a flashlight. Even better, really. Okay. So, my flashlight can do the same thing that the searchlight can? Yeah, seems so. Five batteries as well. Let's just get that one down, okay. Right, so there was a flashlight. There wouldn't happen to be a gun around here as well, would there? No? I should be so goddamn lucky. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's just keep going through. Head towards the radio station. Get some help from Pat, maybe? <laughs> Another one! Shit. Oh, hang on. It took me a moment to read hey. the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Pretty much. Good luck, isn't it? 
So, right, using the same way you use flares, it seems. Okay, they got their own little slot. Sure. Well, it's not a gun, but... Oh, God. Let's see what this does, then. Oh, wow. It kills them instantly? Whoa. Okay, this is pretty awesome. So, yeah, a flashbang grenade pretty much works as a normal grenade on normal people. Great. Oh, dear. <laughs> Whoa, dodge it, dodge it. Quick, throw, throw. Go. Shoot, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I thought he leapt at me like a hunter from Left 4 Dead, but no. Right, to the safe haven. Come on, Alan, you're always out of breath. Hang on, is that a uh, is that a generator or something? Oh, it's a radio. And loads, more flashbangs. What the hell? And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's no Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park. There's a big ruckus going on over there. Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh, man. Wait, four of them? All right, hang on. Ooh! Ooh okay. All oh, right. Like, yeah, he's like a, he's a stronger version, so I guess he needs two flashbangs? Right, yeah, that's, that's the way it seems to be. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't you get, like, a bicycle or something? A BMX, maybe? Ah, uh, shit! Oh! I, I thought the flashbang was going to go off before he even got the chance to do that, but never mind. Okay, I guess I can still stun them with my flashlight. I probably shouldn't be too reliant on these things. There's another police car. I guess that... Is that good enough for light and everything? Hang on. Anything? Ah, there is something in the back! More flashbangs! Brilliant. Brilliant. No gun, though. No gun. That's what I really kind of want right now. A shotgun, preferably. Oh, God! Yes! Okay, keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> is that the radio station? I hope so. Are we still getting chased? Yes, we are. Just keep them back the normal way. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's not far now. Not far at all, come on. Like 50 meters, something like that, come on. Alan. Or oh, Pat, open the door. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, I don't know if he was maybe a little bit too far away from that one. Didn't seem to affect him all that much. Oh, gee, quick. Oh, it's open, brilliant. And a safe haven. I hope Maine could lend him a car to get to the coal mine. Oh, is that him? Yeah, he's inside. Oh, man. Oh, hang on. Another another coffee thermos. Wow. That was a load of fun. Doubt it's going to happen, to be honest. Come on, oh, Mr. Wake. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Where the hell did they come from? You got away from me. Don't <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got them. Shoot priest. What the hell's the matter? Shoot priest. There's a Brilliant. civilian in there. He is way too trigger happy. Is he even a real agent? <laughs> you seem to love jumping off ledges and sliding down hills these days, don't you, Alan? There was no time to waste. Okay. Well, there is a little bit of time to waste because I want to read the manuscript page I just found, which is Randolph calls the police. Oh, come on! God knows what you've done to that poor girl. I didn't do anything. Yeah, we got to get away. And Alan, come on, if you ever needed to run, it would be now. I oh, know I'm gonna get attacked in a minute, aren't I? Fuck. Uh, wow. Have you seen this guy? He wears a tweed jacket. <laughs> Don't knock the tweed. Let's see what this does then. Oh, wow. It kills them instantly? Whoa. Go. 
Whoa! Oh, oh gee, quick! Oh, it's open. Brilliant. And a safe haven. I hope Maine could lend you a card. Judas Priest! What the hell's the matter? Judas Priest! There's a civilian Brilliant. in there! 